Hello everyone, my name is Brant Kudrowski and this organic chemistry video we're going to talk about lab safety. In this video we're going to take a safety tour of Halsey Science room 454. This is one of the two organic chemistry labs at the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh. As you walk into HS 454 you'll notice that there is a coat rack on the right where you can hang up your coat. There's also a beige cabinet on the right that you can put your book bag on. Then straight ahead, we've got gas chromatographs, which we'll be using later on in the semester. We also have some bench top fume hoods over on the benches. These are the white boxes that have a pipe going out of them. These provide ventilation on the bench surface. So if you have a reaction that you're working with or a flask or something that's generating some vapors, if you put it next to that white box, the vapors will get sucked out of the lab. Moving along, we're gonna pan around and look back towards the entrance. So right next to the door you came in at, there is an eyewash station, a fire extinguisher, and a safety shower. The safety shower is operated by pulling on the ring with the chain. That'll release water through the shower. That's useful for large chemical exposures. Next, we'll move down to take a closer look at the eyewash station. If you think you might have a chemical in your eye, use the eyewash station to wash it out. We have a fire extinguisher over here that's operated by simply pulling the pin, lifting up the fire extinguisher, pointing it at the fire, and pulling the trigger. There's a first aid kit on the wall. If you have any kind of injury, you should definitely talk to your instructor. Let us know. We want to assess your condition and decide what to do. Over on this side of the lab, there's a fire blanket. The fire blanket's useful for fires on people. If you need to use the fire blanket, or if one of your classmates does, or someone else in the lab does, you go over to it, you can pull open this cabinet with, with this cord, and then you can pull out the fire blanket, wrap it around the person who needs it, and that'll smother the fire. We have a set of three fume hoods in the lab. We'll be using these fume hoods for operations where we generate a lot of vapors, like dispensing liquid reagents, evaporating solvents, or working with reactions that generate a lot of fumes. As we walk through the lab, you can see here's another example of a benchtop fume hood. Students will be assigned a lab computer and a bench space to work at, and also be assigned drawers with glassware to use throughout the semester. You can see a typical workspace here. There are three long benches in the lab. At the end of each bench is a sink, as well as a waste jug and acetone squirt bottles. This is where you'll do your dishes, at these various sinks. Acetone waste goes in the jugs labeled acetone waste. Finally, here's the alternate exit to room 454. Use this exit if the primary exit that you came in at, over here, happens to be blocked. Now we're going to take a tour through HS 455, which is the other organic chemistry lab at the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh. HS 455 is almost the mirror image of 454, so things look pretty much the same. There's just a couple of differences. First, when you go in, there's a coat rack and bookshelf on your left. Gas chromatographs are on your left. And you can see over there on the left, in the far left corner of the room, there's a door and that leads to HS 454, which is the other lab. That's the alternate exit for this lab. There are bench top fume hoods, just like in the other lab. And if we go in and turn around and look back at the entrance, you can see there's an eyewash station, a fire extinguisher, and a safety shower, just like in the other lab. And there's a first aid kit on the wall. This lab also has a fire blanket in the corner near the fume hoods. There's a bank of three fume hoods that are used for materials that generate a lot of vapor. HS455 has an IR spectrometer in the corner. That gets used in the second semester organic chemistry lab to characterize materials. If we pan around, there's a flammable cabinet, waste jugs and sinks at the ends of each bench. And then finally, there's the alternate exit to this lab, which leads into HS 454 next door. If you need to exit the lab and the primary exit is blocked, you can go through this door into HS 454 and then exit out of that lab. In addition to the safety features in HS 454 and 455, we're going to go over some general lab safety pointers here. First of all, you should know the hazards associated with each experiment that you're doing. These are listed in the safety section at the start of the experiment, and they're also covered in the pre-lab activities. There'll be different reagents, solvents, and equipment that'll be used, and it's important to understand the specific hazards associated with each of those. Report all injuries or accidents to your laboratory instructor immediately. Your instructor will help you deal with minor injuries or get medical attention for more serious injuries if needed. Wear approved splash-proof goggles in the laboratory whenever you're using chemicals. Contact lenses are not recommended. Wear eyeglasses under your goggles instead. 
If you do get a chemical in your eye, it should be washed out immediately with running water for at least 15 minutes. You can do this in the eye wash station. Medical treatment should be sought immediately. Wear appropriate clothing. Your skin needs to be fully covered from the waist down to protect you against chemical exposure during accidental spills. Since most chemicals are used at the bench level, everything below waist level is vulnerable to spills. Shorts or sandals are not permitted. Stretch pants tend to trap chemicals against the skin and these are not recommended either. No food or drinks are allowed in the lab at the bench top. If you do have a food or drink, you need to keep it in your bag at the door. This probably goes without saying, but you should never taste any of your lab chemicals. Minimize exposure to chemical vapors. This includes keeping volatile materials in a fume hood or near your bench top fume hood on your bench. Minimize skin exposure to chemicals. We'll do this by wearing disposable gloves. These are available for your use whenever you need them. Chemicals on the skin should be washed off immediately with running water. Contact your instructor if you're exposed to a hazardous substance. Learn the location of safety equipment in the lab, including the fire extinguisher, safety shower, eye wash station, fire blanket, and exits in the laboratory. This was covered in the earlier portion of the video where we took a tour of HS-454 and HS-455. Understand the use of the safety equipment, including fume hoods, fire extinguisher, safety shower, eye wash station, and fire blanket. This was also covered earlier. Alert your laboratory instructor immediately of any fires. Dispose of waste properly. The end of every experiment describes proper disposal procedures for every reagent that gets used. If you have a question about disposal of a substance at any time, be sure to contact your instructor. Report any chemical spills to your instructor. You may need help cleaning them up. Keep common areas around the balances clean. Also keep your bench area clean. Never use force on glassware. It can break and cause cuts. This is the most common source of injury in the lab. Examples where this could be a problem is forcing thermometers and glass tubing onto or out of rubber stoppers. It also includes forcing plastic tubing onto or off of glass barbs on condensers and filter flasks. Frozen ground glass joints can also present a problem. See your instructor if your glassware is stuck. Never use broken equipment. For example, never use glassware that has cracks. And if you're using electrical equipment and you happen to notice that the wiring is melted or frayed, don't use it. Make sure you talk to your instructor if you have any questions about your equipment or if you notice a problem with it. Material safety data sheets, also called safety data sheets for chemicals that we use in the lab, and a copy of the chemistry department's chemical hygiene plan are available for review in the chemistry department stock room. Contact your instructor for any special safety needs that you might have. For example, if you have a sensitivity or allergy to chemicals, such as a latex allergy or a specific allergy to a specific substance, or if you're pregnant or may become pregnant, discuss this with your instructor before lab meets or as soon as possible. We will make accommodations to provide the safest possible working environment for you. In addition to chemical safety, we also have some COVID-19 safety precautions that we're going to be taking this semester. First of all, everyone is going to wear a mask that covers your nose and mouth. Stay six feet apart from other students whenever possible. With masks, three feet is the rule, but six feet of separation is better. Avoid congregating in common areas like around the balances and instruments. And finally, don't come to lab if you're sick. Talk to your lab instructor to arrange an online makeup. These are the safety precautions for this semester in Organic Lab. Safety is our number one priority, and if you have any questions, be sure you ask. If you found this video useful, check out the next one in the series or watch the prior video. And consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. My name is Brant Kudrowski. Thanks for watching.